Before you get the show started, just letting y'all know, we had a bit of technical difficulties on this episode, so the audio is a bit dodgy, but it's still a good episode. Can't wait for y'all to listen to it. I'll see you on the other side. Peace. Hello and welcome to Hustle Over Everything Podcast. This is a podcast where we receive stories, tips, and tags from entrepreneurs who have done it. And today we have a wild card for you. Listen, when I say you have a wild card, this is going to be a good one. We're talking the beef cast. We're talking mm-hmm. the OVO versus TDE, PG Lang beef. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a good one, man. Listen, we just went viral off our last post. Sheesh. I should say Isaac went viral off the last <laughs> post. You need to you know put your face in it so they can kill you too, bro. Bro, I, honestly. They're on your side, bro. You don't put your face in it. I should have. I should have. I should have. You know, I shout to the editors, you know. And <laughs> This podcast is brought to you by Narai Sellers Wine, one of the only black-owned wine companies in Canada. So not only are you supporting the show, but you're supporting black ownership. Now, who is Narai Sellers Wine? They have 10 years of experience in winemaking. So what we're going to do is going to hit the link below and visit NaraiSellers.ca and try the wine for yourself. Let's get back into the show. The Lucas Scholarship, bro. I'm blessed, man. This is ROCM pod. Yeah, can I, can I do my intro? Back? Do your intro, bro. Let's Yo. Talk to them. Talk to people. Give me with the cab, fam. Give me my angle, dog. That's me right there? Yes, sir. All right, man. This is your Oscar daddy, the Poppy Garrison, Poppy, a camera student, Steve, some pants, get just pregnant relationship, but I really don't. How? I mean, if you catch you, catch AKA Harry Potter, AKA Young Things, Zell, AKA Hit Miami. I'm ready for the pod, fam. I got, I listen. I, I'm I'm back from Africa, baby. <laughs> I've been itching this speech, brother. I've been itching this. Speech. Also, shout out extra baby. We did a Patreon episode. Please go tap into that. We talked about it. But there's been so many updates since then that it's like I'm so happy you invited me on here. Um, also, he went viral. And oh man, oh man. And one thing that, he's not ta- that nobody's talking about is the fact that he said the best performer is Posty. <laughs> Listen, the more subscribers we have the better the guests get. So please hit subscribe. Let's get back to the show. The guy no. said Posty, come on, all right. Yeah, the best rapper. Said best rapper. No, 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 I said he had he had one of the best shows that I've ever been to. Gosh. That's what the oh, guy okay, now you changed the oh, statement. Okay. No, 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 he said rapper. He simply said best rapper. I don't remember what the whole conversation was, but I know for sure we were talking about concerts and what yeah. was the best concert I've been to. I put Tory Lanez at number one, I put yeah. Posty at three, put Travis Scott at two. That's a fact. <laughs> that no, it's my experience. Your bro. experience is wrong, brother. No. <laughs> <laughs> we got him. <laughs> 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 All right, bro. My experience is right. My experience is right, bro. I'll take it. Oh, man. All right, yo. So let's get into this beef cat. So what we yeah, got to mm-hmm. The white fat has just dropped. Wow. Yeah. And uh, I'm not saying that's a drop. It feels like that was years ago. That was ages ago. Bro, this like, is yeah. the craziest beef. Because yeah. we just we didn't White, film that yeah. that long ago. Like, like that drop, and how many songs have we got since then? Like six songs. Yeah. Oh my like god. Six. Probably even honestly, if we're including the other songs too, then we got more than that. More. Like the ASAP this, um, mm-hmm. the weekend. Mm-hmm. I don't really like the Cowboys, but like yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Remix. yeah. Oh god. No, no, no. I definitely not kind of. Yeah, let's not talk about that. That's so. my guy, but no. No. Yeah. We can't. Is that our goat? <laughs> Honestly, it felt like the come like, hey, let, let me in. Yeah, exactly. What y'all, what y'all young kids doing? That's exactly what it felt like. He's like, I can show you a little one, too. I'm like, no. No, man. That's fast. Right, so, so let's address the year real quick. You know, yeah. So, yeah. Currently, it's at 160,000. Shit. You know, he went yeah. viral. Yeah. Viral. Bro, <laughs> bro, the Kendrick hate is, or the Kendrick love is strong. The Drake hate is real. Yeah. Um. Yeah, obviously, clearly, man's went viral. And honestly, bro, even you asked me to be on that pod, like there's mad stuff in the back. Mm. I just thought, you know, we're just gonna chop it up for a second. So yeah. sometimes I didn't even shave. I'm all like rusty in there. Like, mm. But honestly, that's I realized that's how the sick stuff happens. When you don't expect it, Facts. and something goes crazy, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Jake knows about that. <laughs> Jizzy knows about that. <laughs> yeah, they got him. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Let's take back that laugh. <laughs> but yeah, no, we went viral, bro. It was crazy. Honestly, what I learned the most from it, though, is that the beef is not just with Drake. Mm. The beef is with Canadians in general. Yeah. Black Canadians. 
and just people who are not American. Mm -hmm. Because that's what a lot of the comments are saying. A lot of the comments are like, you're Canadian, so you have no say. Yeah. A lot of the comments are like, you guys are stealing the culture. They heard my accent. A lot of the comments yeah, are like, what kind of that accent a Canadian is this? accent? Yeah, I heard? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So he's definitely right if he's Canadian. So like, they're trying to blind us, us from the culture, mm -hmm. right? And then that topic, we'll get into it later, but that leads into the they not like us at the end of um, not like us, yeah, right? And they're saying they, they're not just saying Drake. So that's what I learned the most from that clip is that is how they really feel. So yeah. I'm actually, I'm happy that we went viral in that way. And it's a bunch of hate because I get to hear their opinion. Yeah. Because if I didn't hear that, I would just be listening to mine and my boy's opinion from, mm -hmm. from around here. Yeah. But I'm hearing all those people just go at it. So I'm happy, I'm happy for it. I'm happy yeah. for it. Yeah. Honestly, you're so right. And actually, Mothouse Marlin has that point where... It's it's xenophobia. Like, xenophobia is yeah. a big thing that's coming out of this Kendrick business. Mm -hmm. And I think the big thing that Kendrick really tapped into with the way he came at Drake is ideology. Mm. Like, not even just, oh, you're this person, you're that person. Yeah. This is an ideology of this is who we are, yeah. and this is who you are mm -hmm. as a collective. Mm -hmm. And this is where we need to choose sides mm -hmm. between who people are. Even Masego was saying that, and like, Masego all of a sudden started peeping with <laughs> Really? Yeah, 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 bro, you made a saxophone version of Big Day Drake. Stop. <laughs> like, Masego, why? <laughs> so I found that, like the way that this had such a black people were very, Interesting. Yeah, interesting. very, very interesting. And it's, but it's kind of scary mm -hmm. to see so many people from Toronto on that side, though. Which because side? Because they're on the side, like the, the state side, for okay. for lack of a better term. I okay. Guess. okay. Like there's a lot of Toronto people that are like siding with Kendrick, mm -hmm. but not listening. I feel like they're not really listening for real. One take that I seen that Academics was talking about with DJ Head, mm -hmm. who is Kendrick Lamar's like OG from back in the day. Yeah. Um, he said that freaky ass name, but yeah, <laughs> freaky name. First of all, fire <laughs> yeah. for DJ. Head. But <laughs> one one point that academics was making is that if you see the numbers <clears throat> with the diss tracks, everybody thought that Drake would at least kill in the numbers. Yeah, but you see Kendrick killing in the numbers, right? Bro. But what academics was like, bro, they're gathering to see the fall of the king. That's just how it works. Yeah. Right? So it's because Drake has been the king for so long, you have people that aren't even really Kendrick fans mm -hmm. tuning in to what Kendrick is saying yeah. because they don't like Drake. Yeah. And yeah, to add to that too, it's also because of how insane the Kendrick side of things are. Like he's going for shots. Mm -hmm. You're li listening to these songs, you're like, ooh. Mm -hmm. All the reaction videos are saying like, oh my God, <laughs> is this really happening? Yeah. Drake, you're not getting those kind of feels when you listen to the Drake song. And even it goes to my earlier point that we were saying before the camera started rolling, Drake is not behaving like Drake in this war. Mm -hmm. Drake, I know Drake to be an assassin. I know Drake to be a very calculated guy who shoots at you. You know he's shooting at you. He always knows more than you think he does. Um, he's always prepared and he always wraps it up in a hit. He's failed in all three of these areas. And that's been the most surprising part for me because I'm a Drake fan, right? So I'm like, but he came out with push-ups. I mean, can we start going with the left timeline? Mm -hmm. Okay, he came out with push-ups, right? I hear push-ups, I'm like, all right, I'm kind of bobbing my head like a Jay-Z, Jay-Z, or whatever, you know what I mean? That, that shit. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, 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 like it's going well. Um, you know, he's like, the drop, drop, okay, that's kind of catchy, but I'm like, I'm not getting that feeling of like instant hit mm -hmm. from Drake, and I mean, that's a bit shocking, especially in a battle that it's Drake, right? Um, fast forward that, you know, we get the next song, but even when I was listening to push-ups, I'm like, I don't think we got any kind of big reveals in that song, right? I think it was kind of just like a jab, wasn't it? It was a jab, but at the same time, he's going at so many different people. Right, right? yeah, and that's the thing that was tough with him, right? Because right? he had the choice of going directly, directly at Kendrick yeah. or the rest of them, because it was like a 20v1. Yeah, yeah. It was everybody, like yeah. you said, waiting to see the king fall. Yeah, yeah. Right? But do you respect that, though? Because I think where I, give, where I actually give Drake the edge is the fact that he's battling everybody at the same time. Right, so an, an analogy that I've been rocking with, mm -hmm. I got into a fight one time, like when I first moved out to Ajax, mm -hmm. I was at McDonald's late nights. I was walking by myself, yeah. I was a little wavy, and there's a group of guys and they're like, yo, I should take that guy's chain. I'm drunk, I heard it. Yeah. I'm like, so then do it. Like, you know, uh, <laughs> you gotta catch up. Say less. Came out of me. So, <laughs> then do it. you know what I'm saying? Bro, so what is, so what is it? First man I got up, yeah. bro, the man got up and it's like he kept, Get it taller. Nah. Time I look up, the band's like, oh, 6'3. 
Nah. Right? So he pushes me onto the bench and I'm fighting back, I'm fighting back. Yeah, Eventually, yeah. bro, I was able to like push him into like a, a, the kiosk, you know, where you order your food? Yeah, yeah. I was able to push him into that. He's like, ah. Oh. So I'm like, hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He made a sound. I'm winning, bro. All I, <laughs> seen, all I seen was yellow. Boom. I look back. His brethren is there with a caution sign. No. Boom. So I'm fighting him. Get it slapped in the back of my head. And yeah. I feel like that's exactly what's happening to Drake. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah, one yeah, man yeah. came to test him, he's like, all right. And yeah. then, pff, pff, all these next men yeah. come. So, where I really give him the edge is the fact that he's able to still kill everybody yeah. while injuring. He, maybe not killing, but yeah. injuring his main target. Here's where I'm going to challenge you. You're a Drake fan, right? I am. Drake is an assassin. 100%. You watch assassin movies, you watch the Mason movies. Mm. They always know when they're going to get attacked. They never look like they're getting their ass beat. Yeah. So Drake is used to, it can be 20, it can be 50. He's going to be fine because he's the king. Yeah. So if that's what I'm saying. It's not a one for one in that analogy. I think he, and he also has something to talk for everyone in the game, right? Mm -hmm. He knows how they feel about him. You can hear it in his music. He always says, you guys are not my friends. Yeah. I have nobody here. I'm so lonely. It's tough at the top. You know what yeah. I mean? So he's supposed to be prepared for this, especially when you keep hinting at this red button that you have. Where is it, brother? Focus, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, I don't know, as a Drake fan, I just kind of got disappointed, but also before anything else, I'm a, I'm a music fan, mm -hmm. which is why I was able to kind of listen to the tracks on both sides and say like, eesh, <laughs> you know, eesh, because yeah, as, as, yeah. as a Toronto person too, and it's like a lot of times, I'm getting heat from every single one of my group chats. Um, they're labeling me uh, Drake D Eater on one side, Kendrick D Eater on the next side, and it's like, just doesn't make any kind of sense. Everyone is so extreme on their end and they don't want to see anything else that it's insane. Mm -hmm. It makes it so hard to have a conversation. But honestly, right now, the, the way I have it scored, probably 3-1, one, 4-1, one. Kendrick? Three, one, four, one. Oh, you, you, go. you go first. I have it scored uh, 3 yeah, 3-1. 3-1. Three, one. Three, one. Three, one. So, wait, how many songs are you so, yeah, so putting let's in there? Go, yeah, let's, let's go. Let's yeah. So, yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Actually, I don't know if you want to just take a second. Yeah. Because academics them. put it together. Yeah. Okay. Oh, like perfectly. song for song? Song for song. Oh, perfect. Okay. You put it together perfectly. So, let me just Shout out academics, man. Yeah, yeah, honestly, I can never tell it's been going absolutely crazy. Man, it's what a time um, to be alive to just be witnessing all this. Him, um, yeah. Basically, it's like that. Okay. And then it's all um, push-ups. Right. Okay. So no, so are we gonna count every K? Okay, this is one thing that's very confusing. And if anybody else feels like this, comment. It's confusing. The way they're, the way they're like putting the songs together, because they're including first person shooter, and they're putting like that up against that. Yeah. And, and I don't like. I don't like that. Mm. I don't it's, think. It's I don't tricky. Want, I understand because if you want to put that, if you want to put first person shooter, yeah, that means they're trying to say that. Drake and Cole sets shots first, but it was, it was revealed. No, it was not even that it's only Cole. It was revealed that Drake reached out to Kendrick yeah. to be on the song. Mm -hmm. So that's really the first diss. Him saying not to the song. No, that's, that's against. No, we have to rewind. We have to go okay. back. Okay. We have to go way back of like when Drake and Kenny officially had their beef, which is like before the hip hop, the BT uh, Awards, that's, right? That's, Control. That's, that's, that's not score though. I don't know. Yeah, 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 sorry. We're getting lost yeah. in the details. In terms of the score, and, but that's, I started, that's why yeah. I don't want to add in first person shooter, first person shooter, or like that. No, no, you have to. You have yeah. to have like that. Like that okay, the hit. so if we're putting like that in there, yeah. we have to put first person shooter in there. Sure. So right. honestly, I'm kind of on the edge of first person shooter being counted because Drake was not such as a candidate for first person shooter. Yeah, so yeah. It was cold, and he that's backed it. out. Yeah. So, so it's kind of like you, you got to really give Kendrick that advantage. He removed the point from Drake. Drake, I mean, Cole did that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so it's kind of a weird. I would just say catch went first. And but then, that's why I want to take out like that because it's can't so take many. Because it remember, even Cole responded to like that. Yeah. So there's so many different variables yeah. in like that and first person shooter that say let's just erase those two. Nah, I and can't. Start straight up like that shot because like that is the hit and also the like that is the one that kind of let everyone know it's happening. Okay, yeah. wait. You said like that's the hit. Yeah. Now. Bro, please don't give me a hindsight answer. Okay. Don't give me a today answer. Yeah. Do you think that like that would have been a hit without Kendrick Lamar's verse on it? No. A no, hit? No, 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 no. A great We're, song, no, no. yes. Wait, remember, this is Future's rollout. Right? Yeah. This is Future's album. Yeah. I think regardless if Kendrick was on that song or not, yeah. like that's a hit. 
hit. If you listen to the album, like that, I don't no, think it's hit. Future was gonna have a hit though. It's gonna be a great song, but not a hit because I remember when it was previewed. Uh, I remember that clip, like Travis, yeah, like, yo, yeah, play that. Dun, 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 dun. I was really excited for that song. Yeah. And then when I listened to the album, I was like, oh, like I didn't, I, the Kendrick first kind of, you know, it didn't do too much because I wasn't yeah. paying too much attention. Um, but then, yeah, obviously with the, the verse and everything else, it kind of yeah, brought yeah. the song to another level. But the song itself, I don't know if it would be a hit without the Kendrick so, verse. I'll yeah. say this. I think it would be a hit. But it wouldn't be a hit to this magnitude at all. It wouldn't have been number one for five weeks yeah. or four weeks yeah. or whatever it is. No. no. But I think. Like top five. I think because this this is all in the middle of Future's rollout. Mm -hmm. Remember, Future was saving hip hop. Let's go before <laughs> the before the whole this situation. Future, he was, bro. That was How? the rolling because Metro and Future were dropping an album, and it's been a minute since we've gotten fire music. You, I don't know if you guys remember, but on social media, yeah. the thing was, yo, Future is about to say hip hop. Even JBP, he was like, yo, I can't wait to this Future drop. Everybody was like, yo, this Future drop is going to be the next. Save thing. hip hop, though? But like, no, don't care. It's extreme, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying. Like, we haven't had anything fire in a while. Mm. And that, that Future and Metro Woman album was yeah. supposed to be the one. And then okay. we know the way that Future drops, he's dropping again. Yeah. That's just how he does his shit. Yeah. So we know it was going to take over. I yeah. feel like if Kendrick was on that verse or not, mm -hmm. I think Like That would have still been a hit. Maybe number one for a week. Okay. Not, not two, three weeks, but maybe number one for a week. I think it would have went there. Because, bro, that beat... That beat is crazy. Is and the switch up to it. Yeah, it's incredible. Right? It's and incredible. then the uh, reason why I also credit Future is because he still went that whole first verse and the hook. Mm -hmm. Right? Usually, if a man, you know when Drake hops on a song, it's Drake's song. Yeah. Right? So, and he makes all the hits. Most of the time, the, the verse that's going to be the hit verse is the first one. So that's why mm -hmm. I kind of give Future the edge and say that I think Kendrick had too much help with that. And that's why I want to delete them. No. Nah. Because Metro, you have Metro and Future, and then you have a little short 16 from Kendrick. So yes, no, with Kendrick oh, carried though. At the end of the day, Kendrick oh, carried. So that's you gotta right, call okay, it that. I'll give you guys that. Yeah. If you so guys said that, I'll give you. We that. start at that. That's a point for Kendrick. Okay. What's next after that? Push-ups. Push-ups. Push-ups is, push -ups that, is that. that. That was not a point for Drake. It was. What? It was close. It was close. I was listening to it. and I was like, but I'm like, nah, man. How? This is... Okay. How? Okay. Explain to me why you think it's not a point. And so, what? What song did um Kendrick drop after push-ups? Euphoria. Euphoria. So do you, is it because of Euphoria why push-ups isn't a point? A little bit, but it's mostly because when I first listened to the song, it wasn't undeniable. And Drake is the king of that shit. When you listen to a Drake song, you know, oh yeah, he got it. He's out of here. You can't even argue it. Yeah. But I was able to argue it. And I'm like, I don't know, Drake. And that's where I was looking like, this battle is going to be shaky. Because I'm like, Kendrick is on 10. Like his energy's up. He's on a hit. And the people are messing with it. Because normally I can just say, oh, I like the song. But the people were rocking with it. And I'm like, whoa. That's normally what Drake has on his side. Mm -hmm. And then the push-ups came out and I was like, it's not doing enough. No, but this is, I think Drake's biggest mistake about this whole battle mm -hmm. was not respect to Kendrick. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because when he dropped push-ups, he was putting on DSPs. He was saying this is a throwaway. It leaked though, right? No, 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 no. Remember, there was the whole AI thing first. Yeah, but, but then also, honest, but yeah. back in the day, fam, I feel like at the starting of this battle, yeah, back in the day, bro, the, they weren't worried about no albums. Like they weren't worried about sales. They were just trying to drop. As a matter of fact, they were going to the radio station. Yeah, the radio station for our age group is YouTube. Yeah, or SoundCloud or, or Twitter. Those, those yeah, free yeah. spots where you can go and listen to whatever you want to listen yeah. to. So I think that the game was actually to bring it back to those old school days mm -hmm. and not even care about it. But then. Where I give Kendrick an edge over Drake is his moves. Yeah. Him going and dropping on DSPs first. Yeah. That hit Drake because, ah, I should have just did that. Because if Drake did that off the bat, yeah. it would have been different. We wouldn't have been having the same conversation. Yeah. All right, you so let's talk push-ups. So push-ups came out. Uh, push ups well, push ups was pretty hard. I think push ups was hard. It was hard, but it was it a hit though. Like, as a Drake, I listen to it with Drake ears. Like, you're a Drake fan. Are you are you not more critical to of his music because you're a fan of his? Yes. Exactly. Hundred percent. Me too. I'm exactly that same 100%. way, right? So when I listen to it, I'm like, it's not gonna do it. It's not gonna get it done. Yeah. That's the first thing I had in my head. I'm like, it's not gonna get it done. Even though it was a little catchy, you know, dropping your fifty. 
What yeah, it yeah. Oh. It was a jab, but it wasn't a point. You know what? I give him a point because of he destroyed everybody on it too. And then it goes back to my earlier point. Okay. I, I actually give him that one because of how he treated everybody else on that song. Too. Okay. He didn't just go in at Kendrick only. Mm-hmm. He went in at all the people that came out off the rip. Jabba Rant with the tweet. He got a straight. Metro got the best straight of all time. Yeah, I the, feel like that was mad disrespectful. Everyone's yeah. gonna remember that. Metro, and I Bro. feel like you see the hit factor. Mm-hmm. I feel like where you have that bar like back to back. Is that your girl's turn? Or yeah, whatever. I feel like every hit song has to have that moment. Yeah, and push-ups has that moment. Barely. When Metro shut your whole ass up, that, that was that was. That. People are still saying now they said that. I know, concerts. but it wasn't. Do you remember what it was? Is that your girl's tour or is it world tour? That was different. But what are we talking about from Drake's side? Yeah. What is the only thing that we can really go back and keep saying? Like, yeah. people are still saying it. I feel like it's that bar. Yeah, yeah. But so I'm saying the, the standard is so different, though, right? Because I yeah. remember, like, obviously, World Tour, Girl Tour, that was a problem. That was like, you made a face. With the Metro, we chuckled. Yeah, you know it was what I mean? f- but it still but gave it us that, though. That, bro. It yeah, it that. still yeah. gave us that. I, I feel like, And people are still saying it now. I'll give you, and honestly, what I liked more was the Spanish remix of that. The Metro, shirt your whole ass up. That shit is fire. <laughs> the, 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 the soul one? Did you guys hear that one? Nah. Metro. Metro. <laughs> shut your whole ass up. Yeah. I think I heard a, a couple AI ones. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying, With the so Spanish that, but that's what I'm saying, though. Yeah. I feel like it's still, although it might not have been up to par with, like, even a back-to-back, yeah. I think it's still it's gave the one that us stood that out the most. moment. You're right, you're right. So I can give it to him because it still gave us that, okay. that, that little thing. Fair. So, yeah, I understand why you gave it a point. But yeah. I, to me, it was just, I was more critical. I'm like, mm, I'm not sure yet. It's not his best work. Exactly. Yeah. And so after that, we got... After that, you got 16 in LA. No, so, so, you, so you did push us, you got before you after that. Yeah. Euphoria was Yeah, that was Euphoria. crazy. That's what, oh man, I was oh, that crazy. Shit on the car ride to the airport in South Africa. I was so mad. Brother. <laughs> we, like, Marlon was in the back. She's like, yo, Kendrick drops. And I'm like, what? And they were all like, wait, 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 what? He's like, yeah, I'm about to play. He's like, what was the volume? I'm like, what was the volume? Time send it to me, we play the Hawks. Because I was connected to the car, right? So we do that, we spin it. We're listening to it now. Like, he starts off slow. I'm like, okay, okay. Switches. I'm like, no, bro. And then the bars. I'm punching the ceiling, bro. That's how crazy it was. We're all like, oh my god. And then the other switch up. We're like, nah. And then the Toronto accent. I'm like, it's done. That part was hard. I was like, this is. I'm like, bro. That part was hard. I'm like, he said Crody. Kendrick said Crody. I'm like, oh no, Drake. This is war. This is war. I'm like, this is a point for Kendrick. I'm like, dude, dog. And it's such a great song too. That it was one of those things where I'm like, yeah, you can't deny this. You mm-hmm. cannot deny this track. I still play it today. Euphoria was, was you know, when, when you played in the Corey part, I was like, oh, no. No. Yeah, yeah. God. <laughs> I can't lie. I was like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can't, you can't deny It's one of those. Yeah, I was just in the room swinging in the air like Cuba Gooding back in the day. And, and then the, sh- the shots he was sending too, like, you wouldn't know anything about raising your son. Mm-hmm. That was that song, right? Mm-hmm. You don't know nothing about that. Oh, my God. The pockets he was getting into, the voice changes, just. Mm-hmm. No, I was... I think Euphoria is undeniable. Like, yeah. I can't... Even as a Drake fan, Stan, I've been defending Drake this whole time. Yeah. Like, I don't care what post goes up. It says, <laughs> who do you have? I said, Drake is up. I don't care what happened. <laughs> Before he dropped the song last night, which was um, the Heart Part 6. Yeah. So we're recording the day after he dropped. Yeah. Heart part six. Even after that, even before he dropped that, yeah, I was still going in. Yo, Drake's up. Drake's up. Yo, I, I, I still, believe, I still oh, believe in it. I still believe. Yeah, I still believe. But Euphoria is undeniable. Yeah, that was crazy. Okay. So what we'll dropped after Euphoria? Happy birthday, Hold on. Before we get to that, let's let's really talk about Nuvo you know, K. So okay. The fact that he mentioned Nuvo K. Oh man. And I keep believing in Nuvo K. Was did he? He did. Like. I know. Out, there was a keep you get back with you okay. Oh, okay, 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 gotcha. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 y
They robbed oh. him for his watch at New Ho King. Apparently, that's what came out. Oh. I don't know if I'm tying things up. If, if I am, no, please right, comment. Right. Okay, okay. I believe that's where he ended up actually getting robbed. Back. You in see the what day. I mean? Like, how does Kendrick know this? This is what I'm saying. But this is like this is some Drake type shit, is it not? Mm-hmm. But I think, and we'll get to the song. But yeah. I feel like that actually helped Drake. Right. So what was what what came after? Sixty in LA. Yeah. Was that the back super, to back? That wasn't Meet the Grams. No, 68, 16 of LA. LA. The one shot, you know? Yeah. Oh, working for me. That's yes. yes. Yeah, yes, that's yes. the one where you post with the glove, right? Exactly. Yeah, the and first glove. The yeah. first glove. Yeah. And where uh, he's had all these rumors about what 16 of LA actually means. Yeah. Mm. You know, I was like, oh, that's super It's Father's birthday. Day. Yes. It's Father's Day. Oh, wait, Father's we're forgetting day. something. We're forgetting um, Taylor Made. Made. Because Taylor Made was before yes, that. Yeah. Taylor, Taylor Made was before that. that. And that's where he did, you know, the Tupac yeah. thing yeah. and everything else. Yeah. And what stood out to me was saying, like, oh, I can't wait to hear the quintuple entendres you're going to hit me with. Be careful what you ask for. Yeah. Because Kendrick heard that and said, hold that. Hold that. What do you guys think about that song, though, for real? Like, Taylor, Taylor, Taylor Made. Yeah. Like, what was your opinion on it when it honestly, first dropped? Honestly, Not it now. I think when now it first our dropped, opinions are all skewed. Yeah. yeah, when it first dropped, I was upset. Okay. I was. When I first drop, it felt it felt gloomy, honestly, bro. Really? But it felt like it was taunting him. It was a taunt, mm-hmm. and he was taunting the small kid at the at the, the short little short kid. The short kid really? in the playground, like yeah, yeah. jiu jitsu, jiu jitsu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, do something, buddy. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. That, yeah. That energy, you know? Really, yeah. I felt like he was still playing around too much. Well, I yeah, felt, I think I it's like, that. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I feel like you guys are both on yeah, the same thing. Yeah. I'm like, you get serious. This is a war. Like, this yeah. is not a joke. Like, he got yeah. you. Like, he rocked you. Yeah. He's like, my heart, little kid. Like you said, literally. Like, shut up, bro. He's playing with a kid that knows jiu-jitsu. It's like, no, but he rocked you. Yeah. And you're here trying to, you know, like, tap his chin and stuff. No. Like, what yeah. do you, focus, bro. Focus. He's yeah. about to knock you out. And yeah. honestly, I think, like, it, it was so tough when the kid wasn't taking him first. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But I think that's more of an opinion now after we've seen everything. I think at the time, I don't know about you, but at the time, mm-hmm. I saw a lot of opinions, and my opinion was like, yo, this is next level. Because, like, really? I, fe- I felt like he was using the internet to his advantage. Because remember, mm-hmm. when push-ups first dropped, they said it was AI, yeah. right? And then he comes out with a real AI track mm-hmm. using... Using Snoop Dogg and Tupac. And yeah. I remember, I don't know if you guys saw, but I follow Snoop Dogg. So the next morning, as soon as he posted, yeah, Snoop. he had that reaction. Yeah. So I felt like... That was shady from Snoop, it, too. It was super shady. From Very Snoop. shady. Super shady. And I like that. But there's some deeper stuff to that. I don't yeah. know if you've seen the JBP episode where he's yeah, talking about the whole Gamma, Gamma thing and how, and how Gamma they, own, they own death row. So ah. there might be a little thing and Drake might be an owner of Gamma. Like that's uh, yeah, that's yeah. kind of like that JBP little thing that they, they came up with. But yeah, yeah I think I, at the time... I think it was a sick move. I actually rate the move. Interesting. Because it was just play. He was playing. You're yeah. right about that. Mm-hmm. But at the time, I feel like he he had a step up because uh, it's like, yo, Kenji, where you at? Where you at? Like, nah. Where you at? Come outside. Come outside. Yeah. That's that's how I felt. Okay. Now. And then he got kind of what he didn't want when what Euphoria dropped right after that. Right? No, it was uh. No, Euphoria. Was Euphoria right. dropped so was, right after that. Push-ups. Then, then Taylor made. made. Ah, yeah. oh, oh, you're yeah. right. Because that's he dropped back to back. Because on Taylor, on Taylor, you're saying where you at? Like I yeah. feel like you're you're not motivated exactly. anymore. You came back on ten. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so then he kind of got what he asked for. Oh, wow! So they both yeah. went back to back. Yeah, that's, that's incredible. Yo, this is the best beef the best ever, bro. Ever. This ever. is amazing. And we're never gonna see. I don't like. No. Who no. would be the people? We, there's no way. Lil Uzi and Playboy Cardi. Nah, that's not even close. What are they gonna do? Like, nah, they can't. They can't. No. Never. But you have to give them years, stop, though. Please. We have to stop give them years. these guys up. No, I'm saying like a year. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Years, they, like like seven years, when, something when, like that. When, when Drake and Kendrick have moved on, yeah. who's the people that are rappers? Bam. Because these are two females. Bro, did J.I.D. not like that? Bro. J.I.D., no, trust me. J.I.D. J.I.D. Give him some time. Give him some time. No, listen, I'm not saying that J.I.D. is not a good rapper. I'm not He's a great rapper. like that. None of that. Garbage. I'm saying that J.I.D. right now has one... Hit. We're talking about what? Kendrick and Drake. He has one hit, bro. What is it? The, that, that one that blew up on TikTok. That's not what. No. That's not low. 151 Rum is fire. Yeah. Uh, bro, I'm the not talking about is... songs that are fire, fam. I'm talking about hit songs that even I know best random saying... people who don't listen to hip hop know. I'm talking about Kendrick and Drake have those songs that random people. But also look at the years. Hip-hop. What's that making me do that? Is that Snoop Dogg gave Kendrick the crown yeah. and he dropped Section 80. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
And Gary, he is at Section 80 level right now. Let's That's move on. Fact. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on. He's at Section 80 level right now. Wait, wait, who? Think? GID. That's um, even close. The thing he's is, right, he's right, he's right there. He's right there. He's not yeah. on the bill section. Either. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know you're right because people are recognizing him as a great rapper, and like honestly, give him time. Mm -hmm. Give him time, and you're gonna be like, oh shit. Okay. Yeah, Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what I want to get actually after after you cover this? Is yeah. Who would you put? Yeah, you know, if you were picking stocks yeah. as mm. rappers, who would you put up your 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 picks? Jerry Kendrick. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Oh, like like. Stocks and who's gonna blow up? Oh wow! Okay, okay. To 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 blow up and future give you that return investment. You know what I'm saying? Saba. Think about it now. Yeah, think about it. Think about it now. Yeah, okay. Okay. So after um Taylor Vid. Yeah. Is only for your job. So we are. That's undeniable. We already talked about that. And then he drops six six million of it. Yeah, that's where it got critical. That's where it got scary. Yeah, that's where it got scary. Kendrick is like literally. He's living up to the name the Boogeyman, because. Look at all the reactions to his diss records. People are actually like, Ooh, like, what's wrong with him? Why is he so mean? No. Don't do that. No. Don't be. But he's, okay, this is my thing. This is my thing. The reason, remember earlier, I said that the whole um, information with New Ho King, mm -hmm. I think that actually played into Drake's favor. Because it was clear that Kendrick is getting information from somebody yeah. close to Drake. And I think because that information checked out, he thought that this source could be reliable. Yeah. And then they dropped the whole daughter thing. Yeah. And he really bit the bait. So some people- Did he are, mention that on 616? He mentioned no, that he in- No, he mentioned that someone was working for him on 616. Oh, yeah, okay, that yeah. someone was working for him. So that's, well, that there's a mole in the camp. Okay. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. So that's where, that was the beginning of that. Okay. Right? And I feel like that same mole that he got the new whole King information mm. from, gave him the information from Meet the Grahams. Mm. Right, so I th that's where I'm like, okay, yeah, 616, the way it sounds, it sounds menacing, yeah, it has that boogeyman effect. Mm -hmm. But what are you really boogeymaning about? If you see, he, ha he had the glove, that's the first track with the glove, right? Yes, then the next song he drops is a further back picture yeah. with the glove and more other shit. Yeah, I actually look at that as Kendrick was playing a little bit of defense because I feel like he he messed up there. It was Defense how? No, because I think I think really and truly that he might have realized his information might have been a little bit off. But the thing right? is, he never mentioned anything in the, in next, the, song, cover the next song. Though. No, but I'm saying in both songs, he never mentioned yeah. anything in the cover art in the song. Yeah. No, so but the, the way he posted the glove first. Yeah. And then he zooms out and posts the glove. Yeah. The pills. Like I know, all I know. These different things. But I'm saying, like, the yeah. thing about, like, both of them was really just add-ons to the track. It was most like a, a scary thing. But he didn't mention any of those things on the songs. Yeah, I guess so it was like, even the without the artwork. Yeah. I think it's just the insinuation. Where sure. he's trying to bring in, like, hey, I have, like, he's, remember, that's the first song that he's saying, I know things about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People in your camp. And then he shows a picture of his own Drake's yeah. items. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I'm, like. I kind of take back points a little bit from Kendrick nah. because it, he clearly got fake information and that happens in the <clears throat> next song, right? Okay. So after 616, well, so is, yeah. Is family matter. Mm. And that's where Drake is like, fam. That's where Drake was, I was like almost ready to give him a point. So, okay, what happened? So in family matters. So okay. actually, that's a good question. What is family matters going up against? I don't think it's going up against 616. No? It's no. Family Matters is actually going up against Euphoria. Because he did it the same exact way that Euphoria yeah. is. You're right. You're right. 616 was like a quick... Yeah. Drake probably didn't even know that was going to drop. Yeah. Because remember, push-ups and Taylor made. He went back to back. Yeah. And then Kendrick came, Euphoria, yeah. and 616. That's a good question. Euphoria right. scored Family Matters, which we were with. I got you, uh, Family Matters. I thought you are pretty close for a lot of you. I think it's, it's close, but it's euphoria. Because Family Matters is when Drake started loading up, and I'm like, there you go. Right? Because he gave us, like, this is three beats, right? Yeah. Yes, that's yes, the that's where I'm like, okay, now I'm starting to recognize the Drake, and he kind of just left off. I'm like, okay. But very, very good effort from Drake. But close, but euphoria just takes it. Cause it's is like, that because he shat on it, though? No, no, no. I feel no, like that no, affected it, bro. It's not just that. Be, be I, 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 I get your point. I get your point. for a second. I get your point. I'm giving it a tie. Okay, right, so. okay. I'll, I'll take that, but, bro, I was on the plane. Yeah. I was literally on the plane coming back to Toronto. My brother taps me. Mm -hmm. Yo, Drake just dropped. 
Family matters. Yeah. Bro, I'm on the plane. He sent it. He bought the Wi Fi on the plane. Real one. Sent it to me. Yeah. Bro, I'm there going crazy. <laughs> going nuts, fam. Yeah. Man taps me again. Yo, Kenji just dropped. <laughs> you started crying on the plane. Fam. Nah. <laughs> it even killed it for me. You immediately switched the shot. Because I couldn't. I couldn't. Playing sad music. Take it in. Because, <laughs> bro, by the time uh, the next song dropped, by the time Kenji dropped. Yeah. I only listened to the song by like maybe remember it's a seven minute song. So yeah. I probably listened to it like three, four times in a row. Yeah. And then Kendrick dropped. So I didn't even get to take it in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even get to sit there and be like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> the same thing that Kendrick fans are doing, like, oh my God. Yeah. That second part is like I checked Twitter and Twitter hadn't even recognized it. Yep. Yeah. Because it was that fast. It was so like, quick. It was bro, but there was also beautiful execution though. Yeah. For yes. me to step on your release like that, jeez. Okay, how about this though? Can we agree? I just want to know if you guys agree with me. Sure. I give Kendrick the edge because of the gameplay that he did there. Yeah. I don't give it to him because of the song. Wait, Can this you, song specifically? Because of that, like, for, uh, Family Matters. Because me yeah, and yeah, yeah, response. Sure. Yeah, I'll give you that. I'll give you but that. But I give him the edge because of the gameplay, bro. I, no, I'll give you that. that. Was nasty. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Because, yeah, that, that song, what was it? Meet the Grabs, right? Yeah. It's, it's, cool. it's cool. It, it was it's cool, cool, right? It's cool. Thank you, bro. It was, no, it was. Listen, he obviously he revealed Thank a lot, but you. I'm talking about if we're talking about as a song, though. Yeah, I got you. So, so I think songs are right, right. as a song to buy to. Yeah, like six out of ten. As a this song. Oh like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. As a this song, I'm giving it an eight because yeah. he went throughout the fa- to the, the family. family. He signed with yes, Dear Adonis, Adonis went to the mom, yeah. went to dad, and I was saying he should die. Isn't yeah. that he said that right? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, like that. So that goes. So if we're are we gonna meet the Grams now? Yeah. Yeah, we kind of breeze past the, the, the um, what's it called the family matters. So that's yeah. Like, well, that's that's what's in real life though. I know, I know, but let's go back to it though. It's okay, honestly, okay. it's a good song. Family matters. Uh, I think family matters, like I said, it ties with Euphoria. Tie. Wow. Ties okay. with Euphoria because of the they talk about beat switches, the, yeah. the jewelry, yeah, um, the, the cake, all the details that Drake put into the um the music video and into the song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it was, it was Getting the guy from New Hole King, the, the owner. King, yeah. yeah. House, the antics. Wearing Pharrell's jewelry. The so. I think if Me the Grands didn't drop, that would have been a killer. Like, not the not the kill shot, mm-hmm. but the killer. Like, it a killer. It would have been like a solid. But like, ooh. Crazy. If Kendrick waited even a day, bro, it would have been like, ooh. Yeah. It would have, it would have, some people would have changed their opinions for sure. Especially yeah. if you waited for a day or two days and then drops me at the grams. People would have been like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They would have been like, well, uh, uh, I feel that people would have been like, uh, uh, you, I, think, I think you're right. I think you're right. <laughs> you know a little what I'm bit. Saying? Yeah, I think you're right. But you're right. The fact that he stepped on it and it was with this song too, like, it was, like you said, it was a great this song, but just overall song. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. this song was. It was just you, you can't really listen to it. It just makes you feel like I don't yeah. I don't feel well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You feel like you're like you're stubbing into somebody's therapy session. Yeah. Exactly. It's like, oh well, I shouldn't see note, this. Do you think that this songs have to actually be a song too? Like what's your guys' opinion on that? Mm. I think Drake Drake didn't change the game. Because remember, in that last video where I went viral, I tried to say that the man didn't originate it, but he definitely changed the game. But Drake didn't change the game in this music. I think like hit him up. All those tracks were yeah. bangers too. Yeah. But do you think that this songs need to also be bangers? I think it depends on the rounds. I think the best this battles have multiple rounds. And yeah. in that you're gonna have the song that's gonna be the stab to your jugular mm-hmm. or whatever, right? But you're also gonna have a hit. Mm-hmm. And then you're also gonna have a song that it's like it's in between and you can revisit it. Mm-hmm. So I think if you cover all those three aspects, it's great. If you do it all in one song, you're a different beast. Yeah, like but I don't think back. it's expected. I think it's one of those you kind of have to cover these areas yeah. where you have try to make a hit, try to make sure you're, you're you're really shooting at this person, and then the next one's making a good song. Yeah, so. yeah. I think it's like boxing. You know, like mm-hmm. one's a hitmaker, one's a jab. jab. One's exactly. A mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. So you gotta like know like the the tempo and the strategy between between which one to drop. Exactly. Drop. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's kind of how you have to play it. Mm-hmm. Honestly, though, kind of like came to my mind as I was seeing this be killed. This would be a great show. Like, mm. if, if somebody, bro, I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah, like, As a videographer, bro, <laughs> I promise you, I've already scripted the entire show. Yeah. I, like, I would be using all the rappers that are dissing Drake as characters in the show. Oh, like, wow. bro, I'm telling you, this whole scenario, this whole situation would be the best, like, half comedy, 
half drama, oh, half awesome. action. Yeah. yeah, like it would be one of those ones where the main characters of the show are is like Drake, mm. Kendrick, and then you have like the Rick Ross, you have the future, you have the Metro Boomin, you yeah. have all these little characters in there mm. that can kind of fill in a role. But just in general, I feel like it's been like a, a, a movie. I'm thinking about this like smack DVD. Oh, like that's like, 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 like a reality <laughs> show where you actually got the songs on top of it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's oh, shit. You know that's a total concept. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. But that's a little bit of reality in there, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, 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 yeah. songs are real. Then you that would be sick. Work. That'd be You're crazy. Like, That'd be sick. Like, 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 like a show, show. like a produced yeah. show. Like Empire. Like Empire. Mm. Gotcha. Or like, well, even like the Vince Staples show, kind of. Where there's like, I don't know if you watch it, but there's like this realism factor where there's like some deep underlying meanings to it, but Mm. it's still funny. You know what I'm saying? All these different characters. Mm. And I think another good comparison to what I'm thinking, we'll go back to the subject, but another good comparison to what I'm thinking is like the Dave show. I don't know if you guys have ever watched that. That show is is incredible. That show's amazing. And I feel like this whole situation would be a fire show like that. Yeah. Wow, like the Dave show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, Dave, yeah, he does that perfectly. Like the yeah. songs making you feel things. Like yeah, great yeah, show, yeah. man. Yeah, great yeah. show. But yeah, so that's a meet the grams. Meet the grams. <laughs> meet the grams. So, what was your guys' reaction to meet the grams? Yeah. You know, when you initially saw it or listened to it, and uh, first, man, bump, 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 bump. I was like, jeez. Yeah, no, it was. It was like I said. It was one of those where you listen to it and you're just like, like stank face. You know, a lot of times, like, oh, oh, wow, oh, God. Yeah. And then you just don't revisit it after because you're like, this is just too much. Yeah. yeah. It felt like somebody, like the kid with jujitsu, like uh, in the first example I mentioned, I had him on the ground and he was just punching. Yeah. <laughs> punching. Yeah. And he got to the point where I was like, all right, turn, turn yeah. it on. It's like, what's wrong yeah. with this kid? Yeah. 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 Why are you still so, beating him? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. It was bad, man. It was bad. How did you <laughs> feel as a Drake fan? For me, as a Drake fan, bro, I was actually, so at first, I was upset because like i said i was on the plane i listened to <laughs> family no. matters like four times when my virgin tapped me back, i thought he was tapping me to say like yo the track's sick huh and i was like, like I, I looked over at him like yeah his like, was crying and shit dropped. i'm like no his bench was crying i'm literally looking yep. at him like no bro he's like bro i'm setting up a song right now I'll turn my oh, no. unlock your phone so i can airdrop it to you like so at first, I was like, ah. Oh. But then, when I heard what he said, I got happy. Because hmm. I knew it was fake, fam. I knew he didn't have a daughter. Nah, all right. This, I is the, my life. this is the thing about OVO niggas, niggas, bro. This is the thing about no, OVO no, no, niggas. No, no, no. Yo, bro, I'm not happy. My dick I'm would gone. never have a kid. Bro. My, my dick would <laughs> never have a kid. <laughs> not, no, no, my God. <laughs> you never. Bro. I would know if he had a daughter. Bro. Trust I me. I would know. No, the facts. <laughs> I'm telling you, fam, when I heard the daughter thing, I'm like, bro. How I know I already knew what all the Kenji people were gonna say, mm. but I'm like, fam, you're taking, you're not even being original right now, fam. Mm. You're taking the same exact approach, which I do think Kendrick has been doing this entire beef, is literally taking what has already been said and then formulating, formulating it and delivering it in in his own way. Mm. And Kendrick does have great delivery. Yeah. You know, we got into a little tip about that, but Kendrick does have great delivery. Mm. But he's not, I don't think he's coming up with anything original. I really don't. I don't think he's coming up nah. with one thing original. We call him a bum. Yeah, we'll we call him well, a bum. Okay, we'll get to it. But I don't think in this whole beef, Kendrick has come up with anything original. And I think That's that wild. it's just been a bunch of things that people have already used that he's wild. regurgitating. And bro, the kid thing is the same thing Pusha did. And it was live. Bro, but I this knew... is the thing about the OVO fans, right? Yeah. They say, we already know that. <laughs> but it's like, the shit is bad, bro. Like, yeah, he likes kids. We already know that. But like, come on, what else? It's like, nah, whoa. But, but that's just not true, though. Nah, you... I mean, okay. We got it. I had an argument with a guy in the yeah, yeah. DMs today, right? Okay. He's like, yo. Fam, you're defending Drake and he's a pedophile? <laughs> Yo, you got you. <laughs> like, yeah, that's the first <laughs> message. You got to back on the message, Drake. Right? Like, you got to be like, yeah, yeah, listen. I'm like, fam, how is he a pedophile? Like, what, what's the proof? I'm like, Yo, everybody that's been a pedophile legitimately has, first of all, had rumors for years. Like, R. Kelly. That's not true. Bro, it's true. <laughs> R. Kelly, they've been saying he's Yo, a pedophile. Yo, you said everybody that's been a pedophile has rumors? Bro. There's mad no, no, pedophiles I'm prospering within, right now. No, no, but I'm saying within that R. the community that we're talking about, okay. the rap hip-hop thing, okay. there's been rumors about majority of them from mm-hmm. 
years ago. R. Kelly being the most notable one because yeah. we knew he was peeing on young girls. We saw the yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. And then P. Diddy, bro, he's had rumors from a long time ago that You're he's right. into some freaky shit. Mm -hmm. Those are the most notable ones, right? Yeah. So I'm like, yo, if Drake is more famous than both of these guys, mm -hmm. more famous, I feel like it would have been one outed already. Or just, I think in general, there would have been some types of inclinings that this is some type of fact. But that's the First thing. First of all, but right? are there inklings or no? No, but my brethren, what he said to me was like, yo, it's only it only comes out when somebody says it. That's not true. But that's what he said. That was his response. Yeah. I mean, I'm saying, and then he, he went on to say after that, that yo, listen, the industry, you know that the industry's dark and all these guys are into <laughs> yeah, crazy yeah. shit. So I'm like, okay, so you're telling me that, okay, Drake's a pedo, he's into some dark shit, right? Yeah. Bro, Kendrick is one of the most decorated rappers mm -hmm. of all time. From the same industry that you say is dark. Yeah. So why would the most decorated? Because remember, Drake has he has the numbers. He's one of the biggest ever, mm -hmm. but he's not decorated. He doesn't have the Grammys. He doesn't have those. Yeah, oh, he has yeah. billboards. Yeah. He has like what two Grammys? Oh, he has a lot of Grammys. Like no, he has Grammy nominations. He doesn't have a lot of. Yeah, Grammys. he doesn't have a lot. Kendrick, Kendrick has is what, what has a lot. Kendrick has like nineteen Grammys. Yeah, he's something, something crazy, crazy like, like that. that. Yeah. So how would the most decorated artist <clears throat> by the same industry that you say is so dark? Yeah. Not be into that stuff too. I'm like, bro, and that's crazy. Bro, yo, that like, is, bro. yo, the, the logic is crazy. He's like, <laughs> he's a pedophile, but but he is too. <laughs> bro, I'm saying it's literally he hit him with the no you. He hit him with the no you. <laughs> bro, I'm saying if Drake's a pedophile, <laughs> then they're all pedophiles. No, that's, no, me. No, that's no, what I'm no, saying. No, 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 and plus the thing about Drake, or how many? Five grams. Five grams. Okay. But like, back to the back to the inklings. Yeah, a lot more. Yeah, a lot more. Kendrick at, Probably like twenty that. or nineteen, I feel like. But he has at least like more than fifteen or something. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. But yeah. back to the inkling of you know Drake and the pedophile stuff. Mm. There has been stuff for years. Which ones? The little okay. Let's start Bobby with the concert. Uh, that's a bit later. I've talked about that on the podcast as soon as it came out on my shit. <laughs> I, I talked about like this is weird. This thing is a stranger Nick. Is a stranger man. Yeah. I think we named the title a stranger man or something. Anyway, uh, um, back to the concert thing. This is back when he was maybe twenty one or something. Seventeen shit. year old girl. Yeah, the seventeen year old girl. He literally said, "You're seventeen. You're you know you're not mm -hmm. legal. I shouldn't do this." He kissed her, and mm -hmm. before he kissed her, he's making comments about her body. Like, but did you see what she said to that? What she responded today. She came out and responded. She and? said, bro, it was nothing back then. It's nothing now. She's a minor, she, No, but she's like, yo, my dad brought me there. Yo, so, the, she's a minor. Bro. What does that mean? Uh, her dad? No, bro, so and... Why? Oh, Lock the niggas wait, up. Yo, he, Whoa, what, what, she, she even dad? said, bro, yo, she I'm even said, she even said, it wasn't even Drake that called her up. Her team went and brought her out of the crowd. Team, Not, yeah. or his, sorry, his team went and brought her out of the crowd. Because you know what he likes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on, go on. <laughs> But I'm saying like, yo, if it was Drake and Drake went to the crowd, grabbed her. I, I think that they don't do that much due diligence. If you're, yeah, okay, I, don't but, think, I think they're just like you come out. Right, right, you know right. Okay, but they're not doing due diligence. Like sure, player, but that know. point is done when Drake himself said, "How old are you? Yeah, yeah. 17 Ooh, nigga got the tingles. They said, "Yo, I shouldn't do this," and he did. How old is he? Does it matter? No, I was no, probably no, 20, I 21. I don't okay, know. Okay. Over 20. Okay. Yeah. To be anywhere over 20. Not even 19. Once you hit nine, like 19, what's your call? But what's the, okay. You if ask, if bro, you say you are below, like I shouldn't do this, and you do it, yeah. you're done. Okay. Did he say that though? Is yes. that a fact? He said I shouldn't that's, do this, I, and he did it? Yes. Okay, okay. All right, all right. That's what I'm, that's if he said that and he did it, then I can't really defend him. You can't defend that. But it looked like he was trying to give like a kiss goodbye. Did he kiss her on the lips? No, I think it was a cheek. Oh, it was just like a little cheek, yeah. cheek Wait, I think it was cheek, cheek, and then lips, if I'm not mistaken. And then, and then he went for the, I'm like, whoa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, so that's pedal shit. Yeah. That's weird shit. You're saying that, no, 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 but it's is just, that pedophilia? So, so, it so, might be. Legally, it is not considered 17. And 17 is actually legal, but like, 17, it was who's cocaine that? Yeah. Her dad. Yeah. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Her dad. Oh. Her dad. Oh, yeah. I don't know what happened with her dad. They, right. they, they didn't say that. They got to arrest that man. Yeah. She said that, though. Yeah, she All right. So. But she was also paid to speak, but yeah, I'm kidding. I'm not. <laughs> but, but also, the Millie Bobby Brown thing was weird. Yeah. For me, okay, I can't... I can't do all the defense because I'm not him, right? I can't, like, defend him like I'm him. Yeah. But I can't say that as a big superstar like that. Mm. I feel like reaching out to young people is a thing that a lot of big superstars have done. Young girls, though. 
young girls and boys. Just kids in general. You know what's did that? Just kids in general. You know what's like did that? Oh, Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I mean, but yeah, I don't want to get into defending him because that's gonna make me look bad, and I'm not gonna defend no pedo shit or yeah. anything that insinuates any type of pedophilia. But yeah. I'm still gonna give Drake the benefit of the doubt because. I don't think he's really, really partaking in actual real. real I don't rate that, bro. Like, she said it, it was a real problem. I think she said something initiated. I don't read that. Don't come when the man's getting come. I don't care about if you're a shit. I'm not going to steal from you this now and miss the beef. This is for like. Oh, she told you this back in the day. She was hired. I'm not. Yo. I'm well, not gonna be. I don't want to be a part of any conversation that's well, saying that Drake is a pedophile. Nah. I don't want to. I don't want to nah. have nah. Oh, any type of thing by know, these girls that nah. were in videos and took the opportunities when the Trust opportunities the presented She's themselves, like, but turned okay, around later yeah. like yeah. that was bad. No, you took the you opportunity. Know, you indulged in it. If you thought it was a bad thing, you should have left the set. You should have said something right there. I left that says. So I don't like that. I don't like that. Don't come find me before you tell me, Darren. Like, I don't care who she was. If you're the intern, also you don't want to travel. You're young. So then leave. Who's stopping you from leaving? Hindsight is always twenty twenty, bro. bro. In a moment. But that's what I'm saying, though. Inter, you know, you know, you know, do first you know, first you know, do, do diligence of seeing how all these people are. You just looking, I can, I can be like, oh, that's a bit weird. Yeah. But yeah. Well, if you feel like your life is in danger or any type of thing could happen to you, then I'm I'm hundred percent okay with you choosing safety yeah, for sure over doing something rational and right. possibly affecting yourself your career i get that a lot of women when they go through situations like that yeah. they feel as if their life is in danger yeah, it's all it's all all you know what i mean yeah. yeah because people could physically harm them or right. whatever it is yeah. so i get those situations where girls are coming out 50 years later like yo this happened, this happened. i couldn't see it at the time because this could have possibly happened to me yeah. but now i have enough power to say i understand it but I don't want to be a part of the insinuation of something that we don't really, really and truly have for sure, for actual sure. other basis on like, like, yo, P. Diddy stuff, bro, his ex and girl of years came That's on and it. said, yo, the man's crazy to people. Then yeah. multiple people after that yeah. came on. We don't have That's that right. reach years. Yeah. With all the same girls that people are putting in this situation with Drake are actually coming out and speaking against it. Yeah. So I feel like we kind of got to listen to that. Yeah. If we're going to listen to them when they're speaking for it, saying, hey, he touched me or he did something wrong, trigger warning, with this person did something wrong to me, rave me, whatever it is. If we're going to give them that benefit of the doubt, why not give it to them when they're saying, yo, this actually didn't happen, it wasn't malicious, and yeah. nothing happened to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to give him that respect. For sure, for sure. And I'm not saying I'm not saying you did anything. I'm putting any garbage. You're saying that? I'm getting that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just sitting when I, when I heard him. But at the same time, yeah. I've seen him follow girls that are way older than the the legal age, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we've seen him with, we've seen him with oh, Mad Mill, Spat. Yeah. For a while, he was dating early or older women. Yeah, yeah. I think his mom that he was talking to. Oh, Bailey, uh, something Bailey. Uh, Mari Bailey. Mari Bailey. Yeah. 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 That was BBL. Yeah. That's yeah. BBL Jizzy right there. Yeah. Oh, you know, we're hanging up BBL. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, so we left off at Medigrams. Yeah. Yeah. So I say I think our general genu general consensus is that the song itself was not that great, but the diss was the hard. diss and how he said it, what he was saying in it was very and the strategy was very impactful. It was mm, for sure. So let's get to the to the to the Kraken. Yeah. The Earthshaker. Maybe. The one that immediately caused the ruckus. Yeah. Not like us. Yeah. Mm. When y'all heard it, what do y'all think? Not being sorry thing. <laughs> I'm very dancing. I'm I swear to you, I said, I'm like, ooh. So I started immediately. Clear block in? I was like, oh, three, two, yeah. <laughs> so well, you can play that. You can play that, actually. Nah, I didn't play that shit, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, play it, play it. Just, nah, 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 I'm not hearing that shit, bro. Just keep that shit to you, sir. Turn that shit out. I don't even know. No, no, no. That, that song was undeniable. He doesn't want to, want to play. The beat's hard. The beat is very tough. The song is tough. That's what I thought when I first heard it. The beat is hard. Sure, man. The whole song is tough. Yo, it is. I'm putting him, yeah. putting Drake's album, album, house on it with the pedal. Yeah, the part was tough. More pedal shit. Yeah, more fake yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> more fake shit, bro. I mean, that strategy, like, hey, if you want, it's tough. It's, you can't get out of it. Yeah. Right? I'll give a pedophile. <laughs> One, if you ignore it, thank you, Dirk, but if you address it, you are now arguing about being called a pedestal. I'm not even going to come in really. I'm just saying, it's just a deal with your hair. It's still eight, you're fucked either way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me too. 
No, nah, it was it was great. Execute in terms of badass, right? You can't you can't hate it. I don't like I don't want that angle. Yeah. But you brought it up and it's hard to get out of it. But the song itself, man, it's a good lyric. Yeah. It's a good lyric. Uh, the intro, I loved it. Um, the one of life. Free yes, yeah, nigga. Bad. Oh my god, like every yeah. ain't a freaky ass nigga. Like well, honestly, I had a good one. When I heard it, uh, I heard it with my girl, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh man. Like my head sunk. We both looked at each other like this. This is a problem. Yeah, this. Yeah, well, that they're like, oh, be it all. Oh, no. Nah, where is that? We were dancing. We didn't. We didn't dance to it because it's like, man, this, this is, this is a sad day. Yeah, you know, this is, this is, and this is the nail in the coffin. Honestly, it felt like the movie credits, like, like the movie finale. It felt like a climax. Of man, I like ban out it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It felt like, like Lil Dicky, like when he's about to finally go, like, come out and, and have his, this is my come to page moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It felt like that, bro. Like, <sighs> my opinion on that, fam, shout out to Drake for making Kendrick drop some new music. They asked you right here. You're all your friends are sitting on Shout out to Drake. Girl, I'll bring you Kendrick Allison. Man, having him be consistent and dropping even a banger that people can actually dance to. That's, that's all we've been asking for credit from Kendrick. You are the kid that was You know what one we completely missed over is Drake's um, Buried Alive bullshit. Well, I was by her. People don't talk about that. Stop it. That was fire. There's a reason why we don't. No, no. I think this is one don't talk about that. I don't know. It was kind of tough. It was kind of tough. I think it's the thing the savior with Taylor made where people just try to kind of edge it out because it's like he's playing. But I had rock with that burger. I thought it was better than Taylor made, to be honest. No, I'm very glad I should. I wish it was longer, yeah. Yeah, he should have did it. They full track. He did a full track. I'm going to listen to this right now. No, I'm bad. Yeah, I'm sure. For a lot of people, a lot of people. All right, that's cool. That's kind of clever. Oh, that, you know, rock it there? Please comment below if you rock it that, because I did not rock it at all. I thought it was, it was him playing around. I turned out, I could like, off in like 10 seconds. Yeah. And I was like, bro, this is some BS, man. Like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, like, this is this is war time. You're yeah. playing around with, with, with the pass ons. Like, what are you doing? But he had to. Get focused. I think he had to address that in a way, and I liked how he did it. Why well, did he do it? Did he say all very good? Exactly. Honestly, he just no, no, no. I I don't care about what he said. No, I don't care about what he said. I'm talking about just the fact that he went in and just did, that, right? did his own version of the song that literally did it, introduced yeah. at least the Drake fans to who Kendrick was, which is a lot of fans, right? Yeah. Um, but back to the, back to the, um, not like, us. not like us, real, my real opinion on that, like, great move. Like, again, I have to give him Kendrick his credit in the moves, yeah. but in terms of bars and rapping, he, I don't think personally he killed Drake in it. Stop it. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, oh he just did a whole thing. He rubbed it with his in grip. That's what the team is. No, but Journey Clean with Clean Drake, like. Maybe. No, 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 he did it, but not in song, in moves, like, nah, no the fact that he's done here, no, no, the song is good, but that's what I'm saying, I think the song is more of a move rather than the bars that he's dissing him with, like, Meet the Grand, it's clearly not the song, it's what he's saying, and I think, in this case, the move of the song is what is the hitter, like, that's what kind of takes into Drake, not actually his bars. Absolutely that's just my opinion. It was the song, the vibe, the movement, the energy, everything. The lyrics, yeah, bro, the A minor joint. Oh, so I forgot what A minor. Uh, he literally did the same thing Drake did two songs ago. Yeah. Talk about that kid is free and day free. Yeah, yeah. And you're talking about that too, eh? Yeah. Drake uh, pulled that out of where? That's Cap. Where did he pull the Panathene out? That's facts. What is it? It's all with me. That's it. You know, literally this whole thing with his badges and blew this shit out of nowhere. Right? Like, yeah. And just, you're putting that child eye off. So I don't think, yeah, like, yeah, so let's, let's just not bring up any lies. Because I, I yeah. even in the DJ head and academics conversation, yeah. Bro, even academics is like, bro, how about the lies? And and this guy's like, well, it's a lie when yeah, yeah. I want to, like, he's pretty much saying it's a lie when he wants it to be. It's like, no, oh, bro, yeah. like, if, if Drake is lying, Kendrick is 100% lying. Yeah. So let's just delete the lies. Mm -hmm. Let's take the lies completely away. And let's just say music, lyrics, and just put the lies up against each other rather than trying to say, oh, shit, he said he has a daughter. Okay, that's a lie. Mm -hmm. Said he's a pedophile. Well, that's a lie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you, I don't want to, I don't want to put it in and, you use it as animal because we can. I feel like it's all nice. But well, the thing is that is true though, which is like what's still kind of in limbo is 
can fully ship this way or fiance. Yeah. He does have an, an apartment in New York. He does. Still know what's going on there. Perfectionable. That's why I give Family Matters. That's why I give Family Matters the edge over Euphoria. Because that's still a question mark. I think we've guaranteed and we know that he doesn't have a question mark too, though. No. It is. I don't think it's a question mark. I just found about the concept there. And I'm really the girl, the girl, the girl, the girl come out and went in Dre's defense, bro. All the people she were a reminder, though. No, but she's saying, yo, I'm, she's I was 17 now. then and I'm 31 now. She's remember, what she said. No, but remember. Remember what I just said. A lot of these women, they come home years later. Yeah. After the shit happened. So, yo, if they're allowed to come out years later and say, Bill Cosby dealt with me rough, or whatever, he did he dealt with me rough. Yeah. Then if she can come out and say, yo, he didn't do nothing, I did like, I would mean, like you're saying, but there's a video of proof of him doing what she's saying, but she's saying, remember, it's all about her. Like, no, it's not. It is. It's cause it's, no, bro, it's legal though. No, 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 no. legal. He didn't do anything illegal. So it's just days that it's the argument. So no, it's all civil, but we're different time talking about this situation, yeah. right? Because even in, even in certain cases, it's a civil lawsuit. Yeah. It's actually not a case where you're going to go to jail, right? So in this situation, no, because bro, I've been with uh, no this whole P Diddy shit. No, no, this whole P Diddy shit. I've been in that state too. Yeah, to this whole Diddy shit. So it's something out of words. Yeah. So I've been listening to it. Yeah. So even in this situation, it's not a criminal thing because it's it's legal. She's legal age, and if she came out and said, consent, I did consent. It was nothing that it's nothing now. I. It's just that she's sad. Yeah. But that's the thing about like that's the thing about Kendra putting that in your head, right? Because then you get like I said, you get into space of I'm gonna talk about at work the fact yeah. I say it's legal. <laughs> and that's why I don't like I know that's why I said I that's, that's a point though and please don't clear that please don't clear that. Please don't I don't but that's why I said I don't want to get into the battle of oh of course I'm more spend dream. But it's another move on Tender's behalf, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a great one. It's a guy tap or so on. So the wife beating is the real one? Oh, that was the, the white beat was insane. The white beat was insane. Uh, the caption line or your <laughs> the and girl that he saves like saving the caption. It's the young. Or caption is like oh. yeah, yeah. Or team catch break. Kenya. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm about to be on your. I'm about to turn you. And if you listen, I'm not on team catch break. No, and you are team catch Let's claim it. Just go with it. I'm team, I'm team Alex. Nah, no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm tired of that. Not an Alex. I'll call the best for the speed. I'm tired of that because like, nah, 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 be like, nah, I'm team music. The fans live when they. Good night, but they did glaze it up Kendrick the whole time. Everybody that says on team music is glazing Kendrick. Nah, no, I promise you. I'm looking at this as a, as objective as I can. Yeah. I was pissed for Toronto when I heard Euphoria. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn. The crony shit? The crony. I'm like, God. I was, like, crony, I was happy. Like, that, that, that got us down by five for sure. Like, the Destiny. Destiny, I'm like, the collective. Like, that definitely, like, I, I mean, you know how I know this? Because if you were to go and visit your. LA family. If you go visit your Atlanta family, we think they're gonna say, "Hey, bye, bye." You talk about it. No, no, no. It's their cheese and stuff. Yeah. You didn't even say it properly, man. Yeah, exactly. It's just your cheese and stuff. That's all the world man say. It's your cheese me fam. Mm -hmm. That's what you're supposed to say. You cheese me fam. Yeah, what I should yeah. think. Yeah. Or okay. Let's let's mm -hmm. go back to. So now we're at. They don't like us. Not like right? us. Yeah. La or not like us. Sorry. Yeah. They not like us. Okay. So a point that I really want to get into before the cameras and the men press are going out is the whole fact that he's saying they not like us. Yeah. All of us here are from at least Toronto or the Toronto area. Yeah. I'm from Toronto, born and raised in the city, part of the city. Yeah. Right. And all and like we were talking about earlier, I went viral for my take on Drake's impact on the game. So I've had many, 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 many Americans in my comments and my mentions getting at me, getting at Canada specifically, getting at Toronto. And then I feel like it's been lastly getting at Drake. A lot of it is based on the Canada aspect, the Canadian aspect and how much you, and, and our role in the culture. And they're pretty much saying that we don't have that role. And I feel like the they not like us shit that I hear Toronto man is jamming to. And I'm just like, bro, where are they? Yeah. We are the they that they're talking about. Yeah. We're over here trip walking, bro. There's Bloods and Crips in Canada and Toronto shit too. We're here oh. repping a culture that they created, right? But there's a city that we're not even a part of it. And you're over here jamming. And that's why that forever. I don't care what happened at the end of this battle. Yeah. I will always be Team Drake specifically because they're trying to boss us out of hip hop. And I don't respect that, bro. 
I think they're a Toronto artist that played a huge role in hip hop in the beginnings of hip hop. Of course. Right? And that would be specifically, I think his name is Maestro Fresh West. Mm -hmm. If I'm wrong, please comment to the right name. But I believe that that's him. Like he's, he's, you know, he's an OG in hip hop and he's from here. And at the same time, a big point that I've been talking about in the comments and responding to people with is the fact that hip hop was also created by a Jamaican. A lot of the comments have been like, bro, this is ours. Hip hop, we create Americans created a brother. A man had to fly from Case in Jamaica, immigrate to Brooklyn, yeah. the Bronx, sorry, and create that yeah. with another God. You know what I'm saying? So Jamaica, Jamaica had to add into your culture that you guys are claiming. And Jamaica is a huge part of Toronto culture. So I feel like to box us out of the culture, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. Yeah. Because our lineage is actually the same. Yeah. Right? So what do you guys think about that? What's your take on that? And how do you actually feel? Even though you guys are more on side gender, even though you might not claim it. I think you guys are both more on no. gender side right now. What do you think about the fact that they're honestly glossed oh, all of us out? I'm being objective. I, um, first off, that's being clipped. That part right there, definitely being clipped. That's fine. And um, I think... What he is saying is, is a bit xenophobic. And what Kendrick is doing, I think, like I mentioned in the beginning, is coming out from an ideological standpoint. Yeah. You know, where he's, he's trying to make statements to say, this person is this ideology. So if you rock with Drake, you rock with this ideology, mm -hmm. you rock with... Oh, um, that's more sort of... Yeah. yeah exactly. white. And the thing is, too, I think one thing that's really boosted Kendrick's numbers up is because it almost becomes a sports team aspect of it and if you think about it california is the size of canada yeah of canada yes is it? yes so so if you think about why is that was going to throw her crazy because e40 is that really were a problem because yeah. california has enough people they to don't have to leave california to be popular yeah nuts same thing with that last same thing with all the states bro <laughs> if you pop off in new york you don't necessarily have to pop in the states or in the south sorry you can just pop in New York. That's how it was for years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They had to cross over. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. Manager Famous in Houston, Manager Famous in New Orleans, Manager Famous in Dallas South, mm -hmm. we're not even going up north. Yeah, like Jeezy was like one of the first mans to go from the South and rock with Jeezy yeah. all the up north man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they're even divided. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even JBP, bro. These guys be from New York. Yo, bro, Joe Biden would never play like a Southern rap artist as a sleeper. Nah, I know it really. Bro, no, no, no. Joe Bud specifically. Ice. One camera yeah. down. Ice will play like a southern southern man. But nobody else. Like I feel like even in the States, they're very locked off.